Hello and welcome to another video. We have been converting this Peugeot Expert van into a mini camper. We've done the roof, we've painted the walls, we've got this lovely picture here. Now it's time to do the floor and then carpet the ceiling in, another, in the next video. So today's gonna be laying the vinyl floor. So join along, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and let's get cracking on with this, see if we can do it. By the way, we're not professionals, so anything we do, um, just take it as a little bit of maybe education, um, don't take it as gospel and do your own research. First things first is clean this mess and then give it a nice hoover because this is the original plywood floor we're going to be using. Um, we've sanded it down, we just need to hoover it so there ain't no dust or anything. So the contact adhesive will um, we'll stick on there nice and good. Right, now that's done, all we have is the vinyl, which is here. So this vinyl we got from B&Q is 2.3 millimeters thick, it's two by three, so it covers six square foot, which is slightly bigger than this fan. Um, however, they only done it in four square, no, four square meters or six square meters, and this van is slightly bigger than four square meters. Hallelujah, baby. So before we can get to the floor, obviously, we've got to do the groundwork for the floor. But it will be done today, the floor. It will be done. Right, next step is hoovering up or sweeping up and then getting rid of all the dust and then we can start measuring the vinyl. Yeah, bosh, now it's all clean, so there shouldn't be any dust to interrupt this contact adhesive. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is, I'm not too sure, but we're gonna give it a bloody good go. Um, I'm gonna make sure I got my Stanley knife, nice and sharp, I'll stick in a new blade. And then, I suppose we put it in, we're gonna dry run it first, always dry run it, do not stick. Dry run it, see if it fits. Um, and see if it lays the way you want it to lay and then you can stick it all down after which that's the easy bit basically we're gonna unwrap it <clears throat> put it up to the sides yeah put it up to the sides so we have it all flat but up the on the sides it's like really weird because this is three meters now this is two meters wide but we're only like one five something wide Yeah, all the way to the end. So what Tash is going to do is pull it all the way to the end and then we're just going to leave some drooping out the back of the van. And now just like tighten it the best you can. Or pull that up. Yeah, there you go. All the way around. I pulled it a bit too far that way, but... I'm going to make the first insertion cut. Like a qualified doctor. Look. You're a surgeon. Right. I just need to cut some off so we can work on it a bit. There. I'll just cut it so I can work on it. Right, same, this side. Okay. Just need to make it manageable so we can move it around a bit because at the moment it's way too long. Well, I might even have to take... I might even have to take more off there so we can move it around a bit. I kind of want it to that level there. Yeah. Um, but what we do... Obviously we'll preserve this stuff just in case we need to attach little bits and we mess it up. But like it. it's well. looking alright so far. Looking like alright. I like the colour. Yeah? Yeah, I'm really happy with the colour and I'm happy with the pattern too. I decided I didn't want the normal, you know, like the straight. Um, 
looking planks of wood. I wanted the herringbone because I think herringbone looks really nice. And apparently it does actually help make a space look bigger, apparently. Right, just rough all the way around, baby. Take our time, no rush. Just rough all the way around. Show, show them there, look. See what I mean, rough, but it lays now, so it feels a lot better. Yep. See what I mean? Yeah. It's coming together now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You start, it's getting pressed now. Yeah, <laughs> I am impressed with you. <laughs> But see when you get to a corner like this yeah and you got this bit here you might as well just cut it off let it become more manageable chuck it out there bye but with the wheel arches where it's not laying good at the moment because obviously this goes all the way me and Tasha are putting the box over here anyway so all this is going to be hidden so what I do here is I'm just gonna do a little cut like here just cut it down to the bottom of the wheel arch now see I can really push this down into the corner now because it's got slitten and it it become a, like a, a little bit more flexible mm -hmm. so that's how we're doing it we're just gonna work our way around try not to move this because it's lined up over the other side mm -hmm. we give ourselves like an inch or two inches um, and then we can just come back around. Just take your time. You don't want to cut too much off. Just do a little bit at a time. All of that. Top layer off there. See? Just fits a slightly better. And then I'm Chuck it away. After. This. I can just knock off there. Alright, so the plan now is... We could just gonna have a look at it, make sure we're happy, make sure we've covered all the corners, and then we're gonna start the same process from the top, from over there, work our way down, work our way down, and then just cut it bit by bit until it lays absolutely perfectly. And then once we're happy with it, stick it down. Just remember, try not to cut too much off. How's it looking over there, Chief? Oh, it's looking janky. Oh. Looking the same as the wood. That don't look bad, does it? That looks all right. No, that looks all right. Don't it? Yeah, and the day once we get the edging in. Yeah, and then the edging goes on top. Yeah, and then the edging goes on top. But that looks all right. Just work your way around, mm. pretty much. All right, so that is all done. I'll just show you guys from the back. Absolute garbage dump, dump down there, but we'll sort that out. So. Oh, you might get a bit of a Tashi's back shot. Look, I'll just cover a bum there. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna stick it down with contact adhesive. So the, the point of this is you spray it on both sides because it's contact adhesive. You can need to spray it a good layer, leave it for like three to five minutes, let it fully dry and then stick it down. You do a bit at a time so half at a time so you stick down this half then you pick up that half and then you can do that half all right right so a nice coat nice layer pull it back a little bit by the way this stuff smells amazing does it? No. Sarcasm! Just stay there. Oh, that's so horrible. Just give it a nice. All right, now I'm going to set the timer for three to five minutes. And then we got to slowly do it bit by bit. Right, I'm just gonna start sticking this side. Come out. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Should come out alright. Then we we'll stick it down after. Yeah. Don't stretch. 
this place. So, now that's done, we're just gonna slowly like push down, let it set. So I recommend this stuff, you don't stand on it for quite a while. Not stand, but you know what I mean, like wear and tear it, you don't want to move it around, just let it do its thing on there. Let it do its thing. Right, let's do this side. So remember, you lift it up to there. You'll see the glue line. Tight. So we tight in this in this B. So back there. Staring at you. You can't pull it anymore. I can't can pull it anymore. But it's bubbling. Five minutes, we'll leave it the same. And then that's part of the floor down. Nice and easy. Check back in five minutes. That's five and a half minutes. What do you guys think? What do you think? I love it. You love it? Yeah, I love the color. I love the... I love the pattern of it. It looks so much nicer than that horrible plywood that was really dark brown and had scuffs and paint and everything all over it. Much prefer looking at this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna end the video there. That is the flooring, how to do the flooring, um, the rough well, cuts, and the then way the rest that, of it. The way that we did it. This is not an instructional video where we tell you that you should do it exactly this way we're just showing you how we do it if you do it this way too maybe it might come out all right for you maybe it won't i don't know yeah exactly so we're just gonna put the wheel arch boxes back on but you guys don't need to see that so we'll see you in the next video when we start doing a bit of carpeting and we'll show you guys about the trim and stuff as well so this has been tash and brad this has been our conversion of the van series take care and we'll see you soon